Welcome to Variety News. As part of a new government initiative to combat antisocial behavior, Airbnb owners and guests may soon be subject to penalties if they utilize rental units to host parties. The action is a part of a government action plan that was unveiled on Monday and aims to discourage short-term rentals from importing antisocial behavior into communities. The plan pledges the construction of a new registration process that would give councils the information to detect short-term lets in the neighborhood, citing noise concerns, drunken behavior, and disorderly conduct. Local authorities could take action against people deemed accountable if any short-term rental properties were found to be problematic. At an event in Essex on Monday morning, Rishi Sunak was questioned on the subject by a Kelmsford resident who informed the Prime Minister that he is having issues as a result of his previous neighborhood tavern being converted into a sizable Airbnb rental. These places are rented out by the proprietors to groups of people with absolutely no control, he claimed. They are welcome to enter and utilize the facilities, which in this instance include karaoke rooms and 10-person hot tubs. Anti-social behavior, particularly noise nuisance, may continue on all through the night with no restriction, and I think they really should be addressing the problem they are causing with perhaps some restrictions coming in, the speaker said. Let me take that away, Mr. Sunak replied. I have a sense that's what we're looking at, from recollection, he said. When the Prime Minister visited the Essex town with the Home Secretary, they both received heckles and were ordered to get away during a brief stroll around the town centre. The words, let migrants into our nation, and, refugees should be permitted in Britain, were screamed by one woman. She continued, go, you are not welcome here. A new criminal offence will be created for the, terrible, practice of cuckooing, the government further pledged. Cuckooing, in which a vulnerable person's home is invaded and utilised for criminal activities, has a, severe impact, on the victims as well as a negative influence on the neighbourhood. Along with plans to outlaw nitrous oxide by redesignating it as a Class C substance, the government's £160 million assault on antisocial behaviour also includes proposals to make drinking at bus stations and war memorials illegal. In an effort to quickly and publicly punish offences, the plans also call for drug testing and fines of up to £1,000 for fly tippers and graffiti writers. As part of what the Prime Minister called, immediate justice, those who disobey the law would be ordered to put on jumpsuits and clean the streets within 48 hours rather than appearing in court. In addition, Mr. Sunak promised to take action against organized crimes beggar networks by giving police more authority to deal with rough sleepers who are believed to be creating public discomfort, which may include blocking storefronts and requesting cash at ATMs. Plans to permit landlords to dismiss tenants who disturb neighbors, cause damage, or fall two weeks late on their rent are also part of the idea. In a statement made earlier this month, Communities Secretary Michael Gove expressed concerns about the effects of short-term rentals on local communities. He also pledged to make changes to limit the way that homes can be turned into Airbnbs, amid worries that issues with holiday rentals prevent younger workers from relocating and finding work close to home. A spokesperson for Airbnb stated, Parties are prohibited on Airbnb, and in the UK alone, our industry-leading prevention technology prevented over 84,000 people from making certain inappropriate bookings last year. Anyone with a complaint about a listing can get in touch with us immediately through our 24-hour hotline for neighbours, and we will look into it and take appropriate action. We have long backed the creation of a national short-term rentals registration to provide authorities better awareness of activity in their region because we are committed to being good partners to local communities in the UK. Thank you for taking your time to watch our video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe pressing the notification bell. More news is coming your way soon.